So let's start with the Gemara says that Mitzvah Barnet, Mitzvah Chanukah Net Ishu Beisa. Mitzvah Chanukah is a Net Ishu Beisa, which means a person and its own household light one Net. That's what the Mitzvah Net Chanukah is. The main Ikah Mitzvah is that in every household there should be one candle lit. For Mahadrin, people who want to be Mahadrin, the Mitzvahs do, Mitzvahs nicer, they do Ner Lechalechot Vechot. They make a Ner for each person in the household, there's two or three people in the household, each one lights their own, one Ner. That's the Mahadrin. Everyone lights one Ner in the household. For Mahadrin, Mina Mahadrin, here to a Machlekes, Veshamer Vesilol, if you go eight, seven, six, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the Mahadrin in the Mahadrin. So we have a Mahadrin is that each person lights, it has lights one. Mahadrin in the Mahadrin, he lights one, two, three, we're going through the hill. He lights one, two, three, four. Now, Mahadrin and Mahadrin means you could do Mahadrin, everyone lights one. Or we could do Mahadrin in the Mahadrin, and one person in the household lights one, two, three, up to eight. That's Mahadrin in the Mahadrin. What we're doing today is we're putting them both together. Mahadrin and Mahadrin in the Mahadrin. And we'll see if everyone agrees that you can do that. Says Taisis over there. Nira, Niri, the Bashan of Silo, the Machalikas will go eight down or one up. Like Kaim El on that issue basin. They're going on the one person is lining for the ha- whole household. Shekain Yesh Yesh Hidu is a bigger Hidu Mitzvah. If you line it one, two, up to eight, it's a bigger Hidu Mitzvah than everybody lining one. But, he says, if everyone is lining their own Chanukah Menorah, then, there's no Heker. Says the Tesfus, if you're going to light the first night, if everyone's going to light the first night one, if everyone's going to light the first night two, says Tesfus, we're not going to know that's the second night. Because people are going to think the reason why you're lighting more is because more people are in the house tonight. So if you light the first night, it's one. Everyone lights one. And the second night, we see that's just three people in the household, right? So we see the first night, I see three candles. The second night, I see six candles. So a person who's walking by and sees six candles is going to say, oh, there's six people in the house tonight. Last night, there were three people in the house. And tonight, there are six people in the house. He's not going to know the added an extra no, no, the name. day of the, of the candles. Yeah, you're not going to see. So, so now, we have to, I want to make a dumb. Obviously, we're talking about over here before we had this thing of Menorahs. We just put a candle. If ever wasn't a cup, you put one candle, you put two candles. We'll get to our Menorahs today, later on. But Tysus is talking about the Shrine we're talking about, where you just put one candle. You put two candles. Without a base. Without, yeah, without a Menorah. So you put, so if you have the first night, you see there's three candles, three people in the household. The next night is six. Maybe there's six people in the household. So that's that there's no hacker from the amount of candles, which day it is. Because you could be lighting more, you could be lighting less, according to the amount of people that are in the household, we don't see which day it is. So you have to be able to see from the candles which day it is. Otherwise, it's not 100 minimum 100. That's probably on the first day. Might be the third day. Right. So the first night, you can't be making 100 minimum 100. According to the Basil, for sure, because lighting only one. The second night is Mahadrim and Mahadrim starts, you light two the second night. Says Taisvis that if you don't see from the amount of candles which night it is, because I'm lighting anyway for everybody in the household, there's no dinner Mahadrim and Mahadrim. When you say everyone in the household includes the woman or only the mitzvah and the men? Let's say the men. Let's say the men. The ladies are Ishtar Gufai, they don't light. Girls, different child, I'll get to that maybe a different time. But, but, um, so that's what Taisvis says. And the truth is, the Mechaba Paschal is that way. The Sephardim today don't do both. The Mechaba Paschals, then either you do Mahadrin, that means each, per, each person in the house lights one, or you do Mahadrin, Mina Mahadrin, they light one and you go up to eight. So since we want to make the Mahadrin, Mina Mahadrin is better than lighting one for each, each person, therefore we light one, two, three, and that's what the Mechaba Paschals you should do. But so you're saying if you had three, three men in the house, you could conceivably light every day three candles. If you if Mahadran, if you hold right. Mahadran, every right. day you would light three candles. Right. You light, or you would light a menorah, one menorah. One? No, this is not right. a menorah. We're not talking about menorah. But if you light no, one or, candle. Okay. Right. You light one right. candle, two candles, three right. candles. Up to eight. Up to eight. Yeah. That's right. either or. You can't mix the Mahadran and the Mahadran and the So how are you publicizing the mitzvah if every day you've got three candles in the 
Nobody knows what to, what's going on. That's Every day. Plus, no, that's no, no, that's the that's no. People know you're lighting it from their Hanukkah. People know them, they don't know no what day of the week. Of the days. They don't know an indication of what day it is. Right, Every day that's is the second day. That's correct. The that's right. <laughs> that's right. There's no indication of the days. That's why it's only Mahajan. Mahajan and Mahajan is better because then you have an indication of the days. So if you have a right. choice, you do Mahajan or Mahajan Mina Mahajan, you do Mahajan Mina Mahajan because that is indicating the days of Hanukkah, which they were holding. So that's why the Mahabha Paskins that you should do either Mahajan or Mahajan Min Mahajan. It's better to do Mahajan Min Mahajan, but then only one person lies for the whole household. That's what the Mahabha says. And that's what his father will know you today. They only have one Manoy per household. They won't have more than that. Because if you have more, you never know which day it is. But, says the Ramah, the Ramah says. Well, that's only true if they're all together. Oh, says the Ramah, no, you should light. Um, you, should be, you should do both. Mahajim and Mahajim and Mahajim. You should do both. But how can I do both? So he says, put them in different places. Mm. So put one by this window, or one by that window, one by a different window. It so then, people. people will know, people will see. Here's, the first night there's one here, the second night there's two here. So they'll know which days we're holding. We know for different people. So put them in different places. That's what the remark says. Again, this is because this is with, without this, this menorah. Is without, yet. This, still that's correct. This is still without the menorah. It's still separate things. Because they don't, they didn't have right. such an idea. So according to the remark, what you should do is everyone should lie in different places. So today we don't do that either. Today we all light in one place. In one but place, we have a menorah, right. which indicates <laughs> how many candles. And sunlight's in the backyard. Yeah. Uh, in the front window. So you have two menorahs in the house. One. Yeah. One's outside. Uh -huh, okay. Outside in the backyard. Okay. Very good. That's very good. Right. But but most people window. light everyone together in the same place. place. That's very confusing. Oh, so then... No, then, but today we have a menorah. Oh, so, 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 so then... That's confusing. You have four menorahs together. Right, so then, then, then even according to the remark, if everyone's lying in one place, even the remark should be masking that you should not light yeah. uh, everyone. It should be one person. It's all in one place. Yeah, if you have three menorahs together so what's the answer? Outside, oh, so what's it. the answer? The answer is why we do that today. Since we have a menorah, everyone has the own menorah. So you can it tell, how many it, days indicates, it indicates if someone goes by and sees a menorah, so we can't, another menorah with three candles, you know it's with different people. That's no. probably what we're saying on today. That's probably what we're saying on today. It's not true, though. If you, if you look from outside, you can't tell. And you see nine candles lit, right? Yeah, but usually With three menorahs. Yeah, but usually if you look and outside, not one after the other. It's most most places. places you look outside, you can see there's a menorah with three inside, menorah with three inside, menorah with three inside. I see three different menorahs. So then if you can't see, if someone's walking by from outside and set up in a way that the person cannot tell there's three different people, four different people lighting. On the 11th floor, you won't huh? see it anyway. If you're on the 11th floor from the apartment building, you won't see it anyway. How many? You won't see it. Yeah, you're that's on the 11th else. floor, you won't see yeah. it anyway. That's, something that's else. a whole other issue. That's a whole other issue, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the most of the if you're lighting it inside, something like middle, we'll get to that also, the light inside, so then you could do Mahadra and Mahadra and Mahadra because the B'nai Bayes know which day it's holding. They know. But it's for the outside. That was only for the outside. So if you have it set up in a way that someone's walking by outside and you can't tell the difference if it's one minority, two minorities, or three minorities, then even according to the more you may have an issue. Even according to the more you may have an issue. You have to set it up in a way that an outsider could see which night it's holding. Because if an outsider if can't see... If you're shooting it for outside, if the purpose yeah, is for yeah. outside. We're talking about we're doing it for outside, lying by the window. If you're doing it for inside, for the B'nai Bayes, you, have no, you mm -hmm. don't have any no. issue. Yeah. Then you should do Mahadra and Mahadra and Mahadra because the B'nai Bayes know exactly what you're doing. But tell me, if you're doing it for the outside, you're lying by the window for the outside. So if you're lying by the window for the outside, you should make sure it's set up in a way that a person could tell... Yeah. There's more than whatever the number of... Which, which number of days it is. That means if you, if someone, let's say, is stuck with one minute, and he has a guest in his house, and it's the first night of Hanukkah, second night of Hanukkah, he says, you know what, I'll lie to one side, you lie on the other side, <laughs> and, and it'll be fine. You, can't, you shouldn't do that. Even according to the remote, you shouldn't do that. Because once, the only reason why we're saying the remote is not in different places. We're giving a cooler here that if you lie at the same place, it's okay, only because you have separate, you have separate minorities. Minorities, So I can tell which night it is. But if, so, if you have everyone, two people sharing the same minority, you lose that. So even according to the remote. The is the same thing. It's a problem. The remote is the same thing. You can't tell. That's why, that's why it's the die of people lying all in the same place. It's a lot of luck to do it. You have the minorities. One, two, three, four. Instead of one here, one here, one behind it, the other one behind it, yeah. you can't really tell which night it is. 
The main thing is when no, you light it. If you put all one, two, three behind each other, you could tell it's the first three. If they're set up exactly, you yeah, can see it's different from the but, but from the outside. Not from the outside. From the outside. From the outside. Actually, the the best from the yeah. Yeah, and the second floor it doesn't make a difference. No, you're talking about 10th, 11th floor, you won't see it anyway. Yeah, that's what 10th, 11th floor. That's what I'm talking The whole issue is if it's pursuing the super outside. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, so let's, so let's talk about that for the outside, the people could see it. It should, it should be set up in a way that the outside person can see clearly the the separation. how many a separation. Because if the outside person has no clear separation, then you run into problems. Because it more also says the only reason why you could do it is, is because it's in different places. But if it's in the same place, and you, do, you want it to be Mahadrin, and the Mahadrin and Mahadrin, you end up being Yetzir Sechor of Be'ev Seidoi. You have to be kind of any of them. Therefore, it's always better to, to make sure it's set up in a way that the outsider could see exactly how many candles which night it is. Hey, another big nafkamina, which is between Hadron and the other candles, is that the Ikechiv is one candle. That's the main thief. More than one candle, you don't have to light Mahadron and Mahadron and Mahadron light more. Now, there's a locha, or near Hanukkah, near Shabbos also, that let's say you light the, the menorah and you're using a match or a candle, a lot of people use a candle, you have olive oil set up in the menorah, you're using a candle to light the menorah. And while you're lighting it, your candle goes out. The shamash. The shamash, they're using it. So, how do you relight that shamash? What do you do? You can't take one together. Oh, Use a match. Do you want it? Oh, so the, the initial reaction is go back to the candle just lit, relight it, and move on. So then. On the Hanukkah, you have a shayla. On Shabbos, you won't. Shabbos is the shayla. Shabbos is the shayla. Hanukkah will show you past. If you didn't make a bracha yet, what difference does it make? No, because it's, it's not Shabbos. It's still not Shabbos. You're allowed, you're allowed to, to use, you're allowed to have Hano from the light, you're allowed to have every Hano you could have from Shabbos. You can't have Hano, but you can't, light, you can't take a fire from it. Right? You're allowed, but, but you didn't make a bracha light. yet. You didn't even make a Shabbos or anything. It doesn't make a difference. You, you, you set it aside for the Shabbos. That's Kedusha of the Shabbos. Only after the bracha is excited. No, no, Before the bracha is excited. Also, it's Kedusha of the Shabbos. You set it aside for the Shabbos. There's a whole issue about the oil for near Hanukkah. If you designate it specifically for that, the Hanukkah is different. You can't even have Hano from it. There's no Hano, anything you can have from it. Shabbos, you're no, supposed to have Hanoff. No, it's not the reason why you can't light it. It's a different reason why you can't light it from one to the next. So, so the, the Chara brings down that if you have on the Hanukkah, you light a night, light, be nailed in there. Let's say someone's lighting candles. He's not lighting oil. So what you do is, you light the first candle, Right? If I light the first candle and use and, then he lights and the use that candle, which is a real, not the shamash, a real Nechanika, and light the other ones with it. So there you could do. The Muhammad says you could do that. You could take a Ner Hanukkah and light the first candle and use that candle to light the rest of the candles if you want. Yeah. Madliki Muneer Laner. Madliki Ner Hanukkah Muneer Laner. No, no, even, even if it's not the shamash, even if it's a regular Ner Hanukkah. Do you have to have that in mind before you actually like the, the actual shamas? <coughs> no. You have to have that in mind. And what happens by oil? What's the difference? It's <coughs> no, not the oil. It's practically it doesn't work. <laughs> You know, oh, I, the practically, yeah, you don't, practically, you can't like one oil. One no, there are now utensils that you have oil in that you could do. And so if you have the same thing, same thing. If you have it with a spout, same thing. No, you just take the piece of the on every menorah. The that's, shamish that's, the shamish. that's the shamish. That's the shamish. That's the You want to use one of the real neiros Hanukkah, not the shamish. You want to use one of the real neiros Hanukkah to light the other ones. So Allah has been licking the nail in there. The chal paskins been licking the nail there. You could, could melt the nail there, but without an emtsoi. Meaning, you can light directly from one air to the next air. But if you want to use it, I'm sorry, I want to use a candle, a different candle, to light from there one, and then light there two with it, then you can't do it. By Shabbos also? No, no. If you, if you, it, that, that, that's called Nair 1, 2, and 3. So if you have Nair 1 as a little bit, you'll have to use Nair 1 to light Nair 2. And 3. And 3. But let's say I want to use a different candle. Nair 1 is lit. I want to get Nair 2 lit. But it's an oil. I can't take it out. So I take a different candle. I light Nair from Nair 1 and I go ahead and light Nair 2. Oh, so you're using Nair 1 to light it like a shamish. I'm using Nair. No, I'm using Nair 1. No, to so use Nair 1. As a source. As a source. If you use Nair 1 to light Nair 2, it's directly that you could do. Right. But if I want to use a different candle, a shamus, in between, in between okay. you can't light a shamus from, from Nair, Nair 1. 1 to light Nair 2. Right. For sure, to light a shamus by itself, then everyone agrees you can't do from Nair 1. But I'm, I'm only lighting it to light Nair 2 
That's called, I'm sorry, it's called a middle thing. A middle. So the Mechabri is not a Mechlaikis if you could use a middle one to lighten that too. Says, question, wait. But, but you said also Shabbos is the same Shabbos. Yeah, yeah, we get the Shabbos. That's, that's the one that's Shabbos. Forget the Shabbos. Forget the Shabbos. Forget the Shabbos. That's the one that's Shabbos. So do you want to use the, the I'm sorry? The Mechabri is not a Mechlaikis. The Ramah says that we're, we're, we're Machim. We don't use it, I'm sorry, for sure not. And that's just that. Miner Liner also we're not going to light. Why? Why not? Because what can I light from there one, light there two? Take there one, light there two. What's wrong with it? My there We passed him. My Dlikim in there and there. So I can light from there one to there two. Says the Ramah, we don't do it. And the reason is, is because because Nair 1 is the Ikr Chi of Mitzvah. Nair 1, when you light Nair 1, you're Mekhaim, you Mitzvah. Nair 2 is Mahatma. So can you do from 2 to 3? So, so one second. So Nair 2, <laughs> Nair 2 is Mahatma. Right? So Nair 1 is more Khashiv than Nair 2. So if you're lighting... Is, is so you're bringing it down. Candle? You're going to the a lower candle. level. It's the new candle. The first candle. Uh, well, which is the first candle? The Use first the new one. one is you the like yeah, the, 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 the first one candle is the one you add on. The light, when you light first, the one you add on. You light the candle on the first left. Yeah. Whatever that first one is. That's what I'm asking. So that first one is always called the the new candle. First one is the first one. The 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 Right, right. You, can't, can't you, can't, you, can't, you can't light from, the, from Nair 1 to Nair 2, because Nair 2 is not as kosher as Nair 1, because Nair 1 is Ikim Mitzvah. Done by Nair 1. Right. And therefore we say, Eimad Likin, <coughs> the Ramon says, even with Nair and Nair, we're not going to be Madlik, because Nair 1 is more kosher than Nair 2. But according to this, Nair 2 to Nair 3, Nair 3 to Nair 4, you're fine with it. Even according to the Ramon. Yeah. Because the only problem is, Nair 1 to Nair 2. Right? How to get around that? And the answer is the magical answer. When all the hachmei when there is Hanukkah, so the hard to get full of when there and there. Why the ikim is for say, ain't the el and there echad. Vashar ain't the mitzvah called kach. So chay ain't the hard to get zemi zeh. You can't light one from the next, right? But we'll come at two or three. You should be able to one to two. You can't. And then we'll, we'll go a step further. We we'll get a little more complicated. So have one menorah, menorah A and menorah B, right? So Menorah A, once I lit one Menorah, it's Ikr Mitzvah. So I'm coming to light Menorah B, even if it's the first candle, it's not equal to the first candle of Menorah A. Once you lit Menorah A, one candle, you Yitzvah Mitzvah. You are Yitzvah, but you don't do two Menorahs. No, the second yeah. family member is Yitzvah. The second family member is Yitzvah Mitzvah. Yitzvah but he can light from the sham from your sham. Yeah, we get the sham. Yeah, you get from the sham. Sham for sure. Sham for sure. Don't wear the candles themselves. So that means if once one candle is lit, then to go light from that one. Anything else is already on a lower secondary, level. Secondary. It's secondary. So the first candle secondary. is also to use anything from it. Correct. That's it. That's it. The first candle also anything from it. Whoever likes it. If you want to take it. Unless you actually lift it up. You said before. No, no, no. It's totally that case. Even, even Daniel. You know. I mean, no. Oh, if you're doing two, three, or four, you said. Before you said. Right. If I have one lit. Right. There one lit, and one light, two, three, and four. You can't. You can't. can't. So the Moshe says you can't. No, nothing. The Mechaber holds you could. I'm just saying, the Mechaber says you could. Right, the Mechaber says you could. The Moshe says not, because Nair 1 is more kosher than Nair 2, 3, and 4. Because if it commits to You can use Nair 2 to light Nair 4. Yeah, let's just come out. Let's speak it out. Let's just come out. You should be able to lose. Huh? In word in Bekadusha. Yeah. For Allah Kadish for any reason. So you, um, can, you can't light from the... Yeah, but that's the next question is, can you light from near one, uh, manure one to near two? Right, so no, according two. to this, according to this, no. You want to... Near, oh, near, yes, near one, one, one second. Near one, near one, near one, near one, near one, near one, You can't. Also you can't. Also you can't, because you're still going down. Because still going down. You're still going down. So I have a different question for you. I have a different question for you. Get ready for this one. So near one to near two in the same manure or not. Near one to near one is second manure or also not. How about near two to manure one to near one and manure two? I'd say yes. No, we're question. not because yeah. it's a then you will be Mahadi Mahamadi. Oh, near two, near two from manure one to near one and manure two. 
That's called A and B. The letter A, letter two, the letter B, letter one. No, no, no. Because the first one is Mahadil Mahadil because you're doing the second mix already. Right. So the second candle is not the first candle. Yeah, but, but the, the second candle done on the first one. Right, the second one's on the second menorah. Right, so it's a thing like this. If Mahadrin and Mahadrin is more kosher than Mahadrin, right. then, you can't then you can't take so one, then one two together. is Mahadrin and Mahadrin. You can't and use the two. Other, right. Can't, two like one. That's right. Okay. That's what it's coming out. On two. <laughs> so since it gets confusing... Are you, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, but you can. I'm using a shamash. <laughs> <laughs> it's like God made a shamash. You mean Mahmir, you the Ramah is not Mechal, the Ramah says we don't lie in there and and the reason is because it gets confusing which one yeah, which one not, therefore we stay away we don't lie at not all anything. at all in there and that's, that's what that's why a lot of people when they lie to Menorah the what they'll do is before they even meet the Brochim they lie to a Shamas so if you have an oil Menorah Right, so usually they have a shamus a little higher than you have the candles. So most people won't use the shamus or the manure to light the candles. Because if it's if it's if it's an oil manure, it's not it's, it's complicated. Even though you mean it comes the shamus is oil. Yeah, shamus is oil. Yeah, shamus is oil. Pick it up. It's right. right. Yeah, that's that. If it's a floating wick, you can't bend like it over. Yeah. Right. So that right. So a lot of people do is so the, even before they make the bracha, they light a, a separate candle. They light the shamus of their manure itself, and then. And then make the bracha and light the candles. Because if the candle goes out... Which one would you light first? Then, it, then the shamash will be the Ikeh one. No, because the shamash you set aside. No, no, the shamash, you, you don't want it to be for the shamash. You don't want the shamash to be the shamash. That is so according to you, you should be lighting the shamash last. First you light the first No, the, you're, you're saying good. You're saying that once it lights the shamash, it's ready in the shamash. That's no, fair. Only if you want it to be in the shamash. Ah, I see. But if you're not using the shamash to light the other candles, what do you have it for? You're not going to tell me you're reading about the shamash. Right. So you want to stop it? Why today? <laughs> why today do you have to have a shamash at all? That's what you ask. Why today do you have to have a shamash at all? On those oil. Yeah. Oil ones. Light, light the regular things. You're not, you're not, no, you, know, you really have two shamashes. You have the the yeah, oil ones. Out. I but they put it out. And the oil one, sometimes you could take the shamash off, right. the, off the yeah, silver they put thing. It but even then, it's hard right. to use. Right, you can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most of them. Not most of all of them. All of them. Not all of them. I've seen yeah. some one at home. Some, some. I have one at home where I've got one permanent one on there. But oh, yeah? the silver one. The silver one. The silver one's come off. My shamash comes off. The silver one's come off. So still, people don't use it because it's not practical to use. It's very hard to use that one. Yes, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's that's the right. So you take them off the. Uh, you take it off the yeah, thing, off the but still, it's very not practical to use it. Yeah. Very not practical. It's still to use it. Yeah, it's very not practical. Like tip over yeah. yeah, I've seen easy. them where they use a pitcher with a little spout. Yeah, yeah. Right, and coming out of the spout is the whip. It's, right. And this works. It's so easier. Yeah, yeah. That's easier. Yeah. But most people most people won't use it. Most people would like the shamash. Right. Then use that. Right. And then they make a bracha. First you light the shamash and then you do the do the parts of practical because if I'm lining with the candle and it goes out, then I can always go back to the shamash. Go back to the to relight it. Right. Instead of taking a match and relighting it. That's what I do. That's yeah, that's what, that's what most people do. It. Right. It's easier. That's practical. That's easy. Easy. Yeah, this is the shamash. Yeah. And the question that you ask, why in the shamash today at all? Well, you're, not well, you're not using it to light candles. Why you need it all for? This is where you, you use the fiddle on the roof like a tradition. So shall we protect it's more than that tradition <laughs> not to have a shower. It's more than that. It's even more than that. Because I, I'll give you another example, a similar a similar question. There's um the Allah and that Hanukkah is supposed to be lit between three Tfachim high and ten Tfachim high. The, 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 the name is Hanukkah should be in between three Tfachim and ten Tfachim. Right, that's where it's a locker, it should be it should be lit. Now, why does it have to be within ten Tfachim? Why do you have to light the Hanukkah with 10 10 Tfachim? To light 11 Tfachim, 12 Tfachim? That one's not that high. It's talking about the 80 to, to 95 so centimeters of light. Is. No, no, that's the more things arrive from there, they, they're supposed to light it. Right. The more things arrive that when the camera goes by, if it, if it catches, right. means you see the Ikka Mitzvah is lower than 10 Tfachim. Then why? Why do you have to light lower than 10 Tfachim? What's the, what's the Mitzvah to light lower than 10 Tfachim? Higher than 20, you can't because you can't see it. But lower than 10, why? So they were showing them say the reason why we lie lower than ten is because it should be nicker. You should be able to tell from it that you're not doing it for light. Right. When you, do, you, when you light it something really for light, uh, you usually keep it a little too higher. Low or too it's high. too low to uh, to right. when you light something for light, usually you don't keep it so low. So it's a heck. 
So now, I'm going to ask you a question. Different day. Someone David today. Hacker was different yeah. today. Uh, so I ask you a question. Someone has a Menorah today, right? Completely. Yeah. Someone has a Menorah today. Now, there's no question that anybody who sees the Menorah knows exactly why the Menorah is lit. Right? You're not doing it for light because you have much stronger right. lights in the house. And you don't need the light. So is there a dense light lighted less than 10 Tvachim? Yeah. Today, everyone knows why I'm lying the Menorah. So, wh what's the reason to do less than Do you know anybody who lights it at 3 Tvachim? At, at, at 3 and 10. Yeah, do you know anybody who lights yes. it at 3? You do. Yes. Yeah. You do. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't happen not to because I want to do it to the window. To you want to do it to the window. I, ha I like yeah, it a window. So well, 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 yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So you have, you have to do it people see outside. If you have a choice, to lie within 10 seconds. You don't have a low because I've heard you say it. I think you have kids. Right, right. So my son, Lacha says, you should lie it within 10 seconds. And so what's the, what's the reason why today people are mocked on it? So the the price scheme on and they say the reason why people are mocked on it is because anyway we know what we're lighting it for. The whole reason why it's lighted on 10 Tvachim is because it's so that it's for a mitzvah. Like. So therefore, yeah, the mitzvah. Yeah, mitzvah is to show that you're doing it for for the nechag and not for the light. But today, anybody everybody knows and see a manayra what it's for. So therefore, people aren't to mock with the light that's higher than 10 Tvachim. You know, says so Allah, you should you should light lower than 10 Tvachim. So people aren't to mock for that reason. For the same reason, cancel out the shamash. The same thing. Shamash and those as well, because people are going to use it. It's a heck it, right? Don't use that, use this. So for that, today, really, you could knock out the shamash also. Someone does not want to light a shamash, he doesn't have to. Because it lights three can four candles, and, uh, and that's it. But the minimum class well is to light a shamash. And the reason is why. Why talk about keep that meaning? The reason is that everyone says, why do you have a shamash? And you'll answer them. The reason why a shamash is not supposed to be nana from the nana's Hanukkah. Now, the only reason why our kids know... And the people walk by your house and don't see the shamash, they'll think about a lot of questions. Why the heck yeah, that why, guy not like... Why didn't I have a shamash? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's right. That's it's right. That's a common thing, right? Yeah. Mr. Spencer? <laughs> okay, so, so one more thing. How much time do we have left? Um, ten minutes. Okay. Uh, one more thing, there's, um, there's also a shy of, maybe next we'll get into it, the inside or outside, most people to let anybody light by the window. So, some people light inside, but most people to light by the window, I want to speak about it, but we don't have that much time left, maybe we'll speak about it next week. There's another thing that went to light on Erev Shabbos and on Matzah Shabbos. When do you light Erev Shabbos and Matzah Shabbos? Right? That's also a big question. But when do you light? So, first of all, we have to know B'chlal, what is this Marat Lakas news? When are you supposed to light them? So, in the locker it says you start lighting Hanukkah natives by Shkia. We have comments after Shkia, beginning of the night. Different machlaik is what it means, half hour after Shkia, tournament after Shkia, exactly when it is the machlaik in the vice room. That's where you light the Hanukkah. Now, the question is, that's only when you're lighting it outside for people to see it outside. Right. But if you're lighting it inside, it makes no difference. Because the only reason why you're lighting it at that time is because Asha Tekla Regim and Ashok, people have to see it. If you're lighting it inside, so the more the, 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 the more brings down. You're talking about inside, there's no windows, not near windows. Inside the house, no windows, no, right. Where nobody right. can see. Right. No one can see. Right. So the Ramah says that today, Bizman has asked about this Mishnim, ain't so for Zelda Hadley, Christ, the Chalak of the Shop. You don't have to be so careful to light at that time. But today, that we again light by the windows. So a person should be needed to light on time in the beginning of the night. Right? A person, if he could, a person is at work, they can't come home from work earlier, but if someone's home and he could, he should light in the beginning of the night. Now comes Erev Shabbos. Right? In Erev Shabbos, we know you can't light in Hanukkah. But the beginning is mine because it's Shabbos. So the question is now what do I do? Or well, Master Shabbos. Master Shabbos come home, it's ready after the Zman. Right? So you missed it. Master Shabbos, you have no choice. Right, you have no choice. Every Shabbos also have no choice. So the question is how we look at it. So Moshe has in Santa Tura, Moshe says that every Shabbos, and the same thing applies to Master Shabbos, is that when the Chazal said that we're lighting their Hanukkah on Erev Shabbos, they didn't mean you should light it by the time of the whole week. It has to be there's a different time made for Erev Shabbos. So what is that time? That before time is before Mincha. Yeah, before candlelighting. Well, before you can't do it before candlelighting. Yeah. But maybe you should have Mincha first. And some people do. Some people do. Some yeah. people do. Yeah. A lot of people have Mincha first. But the I thought they said if, if you if you have to make a choice between dabbing Mincha with a minion, and for sure. after. For sure. You have to dab Mincha with a minion. It's better to light, it's light first and then dab Mincha with a minion. 100%. Right. That's for sure. 
And and the reason is that Moshe says that that the color was light as close as possible to Shabbos as you could. If it means half a light as a half hour before Shabbos because I have to go to Shul Bab Mincha or have to go light the Neiris, so that fits time. There's a reason why you should have Mincha first and the Prima Goda brings that for different reasons. It looks like a Tata de Sashi. Tata de Sashi means it's a steerer, it doesn't make sense because I'm lying, a contradiction. I'm lighting. You're lighting during the day. I'm, I'm lighting, I'm lighting now for Shabbos and I didn't have a Mincha yet. That's why it's better, it's better to have a Mincha first because Friday is finished now. Now I'm starting my Shabbos things. And these neighbors are for Shabbos. So the, the, the Prima Goda brings this as far it should be a contradiction. But, huh? There's a minion? The yeah. Well, I'm young to have a 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I'm a minion, Mincha, Erev Shabbos, Hanukkah. But if it's hard, someone's at work, or it's, it's time wise you can't do it, then there's definitely a lot of people that have a regular time, but, and, and the light and they like before, they before they go to show. Yeah. And the reason is, because of this reason, because you don't have to worry about so much how close it to the night, because Friday, this man now, Friday is as close as possible as it could get. Now, if I have to light nails afterwards, I have to go drive the shoe afterwards, okay, fine. Do we have to do to get the shoe? But for light nails as close as possible. If someone wants to light the nails and then go take a shower from Shabbos, then you can too. Right. Right? Prepare everything you could for Shabbos, then light the nails, and then go to shul. Then yeah, the the interesting shul. thing about it is it's the idea that you can you're light lighting it. so that people coming home from work see. Right. 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 People come home from work much earlier on Friday yeah, than they sure. do on Thursday. It's true, yeah. You know, but still, you can't light it by, by, by day. You can't light it by day. Right. Right. right.